Hi, Jeff Love here from Alternative Heating and Supplies again. Uh, I got a question the other day which was good and I decided to do a video on it. It was how do I hook my outdoor wood boiler to my in internal inside hot air furnace? It doesn't really matter if we're talking about oil furnace or gas or LP or even electric. They're fundamentally all the same on how to hook them up. So I'm going to go over that quickly in this video. So I actually sell kits to simplify this whole process and I'll go through them a little bit. But before I get into that, I'll go through the basics. Okay, inside your house you have an indoor furnace. And again, it doesn't really matter what kind of heating system it is, oil, gas, LP, or electric. But it basic, the concept is there's a blower and there's a heating element inside of it, referring to oil, gas, propane, you know, all the above, or electric. It has a heating element in it. And the air blows out through the plenum, which is identified here in the blue. This is the heat exchanger that sits inside the plenum. Now there's another video I've done that talks about the installation of the heat exchangers or water to air heat exchangers inside your plenum. You can go and refer to and I'll show it here on the thing and also below where you can, uh, there'll be a link to it. So when you, after you install this into the plenum, you've got to have the existing thermostat in the house communicating with that, okay? Basically how we're gonna do it is there's two ways. One, you can add another thermostat side by side with this, run a wire all the way down to your basement, hook it up to your furnace and say, this thermostat is turning on at 75 uh, to heat the house, and you turn this one down so it never really activates, okay? Um, that is one way of doing it. That's kind of an antiquated system and it's very difficult and cumbersome and, and it always seems to have problems. So I've came up with another system, which I encourage everybody to do. It's what I call an Aquastat hydrocoil kit. And, um, even if you don't get my kids the same concept, is you simply mount a surface mount Aquastat. And what I mean by an aqua surface mount or a strap-on Aquastat, excuse the term, it's just the name they give it in the industry. It's an Aquastat that you actually mount to the PEX line. Okay, oh, excuse me, it's... <laughs> what was I talking about? So what this is, is a strap-on Aquastat that straps on to the pipe PEX line and the, the thermometer, or not the thermometer, the, the probe that monitors the temperature of the water is in this little area, in this little piece of insulation. And what that does is it monitors the temperature of the water inside the pipe instead of inside a thermal well. Okay, so this just mounts on a PEX pipe. What this does, and the basic concept is, is that when the inside existing, the existing inside thermostat, it's calling for heat inside the house. It goes, the wire goes through, which is already in place, goes to the aquastat, which is mounted in the furnace, and the aquastat, which is mounted on the supply side of the PEX line coming in from the wood boiler, the signal comes down and says, hey, is the water in this pipe hot or not? And if it says it is hot, the signal still continues down and says, just turn on the blower, please. We do not need the heating element to turn on. Now, if the thermostat turns on and says, hey, I need heat in the house, and it comes to the aquastat, and it says, hey, is the water in this pipe hot or not? And it says it is not hot because you forgot to feed the boiler or you're not feeding your outdoor wood stove. This will basically send the signal directly through and say, turn on the blower and the heating, heating element seamlessly. Now, the best way to explain that is if, you have to work extra hours or extra shifts or anything like that and the wife and kids are home and you don't want them to go feed the stove, they're gonna have heat. They're all taking care of it seamless. It's just that simple. So with these kits that I sell, they come with the Aquastat. The thermostat's already in your house. You do not need that. And the basic two different systems of hooking up your heat exchanger. So the first style is what I call crimp or barb. It's a copper fitting that you solder on and you put your PEX pipe on and you have a crimping tool that crimps this ring and seats it. Or that's the Aquastat Hydrocoil Kit plane. Or you can get the Aquastat Hydrocoil Kit SB, which refers to the shark bite thing, which is a push on fitting, which I actually love simply because once it's pushed on, you can take it on and off as you go. And also, as most people know, PEX over 100 feet expands six inches. So you might need some shifting and shark bites do 
seal and at the same time they are movable. So if your PEX is moving and it's shrinking and expanding based on the spring and fall turning on and off your boiler, this doesn't have any effect. This might put stress on something and that's the reason I like it. So this is the basic Aquastat hydrocoil kit that I offer. You can do this obviously on your own, but I found this to be the simplest. My kits are under $100 um, and they have the Aquastats, they have these fittings, and they also have the directions on how to wire it up. So it makes life a lot simpler uh, for everybody. Um, but I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, give me a thumbs up or down and leave some questions below. I'll set the links below. And thank you for your time. Happy heating.